Hey, what's up, people? Welcome back to the next tutorial. Um, I decided to do quickly do this one so I would be free from burden for the next three to five days. So, uh, today we're just not gonna do much. We're gonna doing this uh stupid uh bl blink blinker on the side here. Okay, here they here they are. This one and uh, the two at the back. This one and this one. That is all. Uh, okay, let me just quickly bring up my the original mesh. Okay, um, let's see. We'll start with this one here because we haven't put in. Uh, okay, we have put in the tree bamboo fire. So this one is kind of the hardest one. So let's just get on with it. Let's just get on with it. What is going on here? Wait, I'll just worry about that later I'm not really in the mood to fix anything okay let's see we the tricky part here is to arrange this okay what you want to do now is select this one go into side view select this one and then hit that slash key so you can isolate both of them together okay it's lost okay here it is so you can isolate both of them together now let's go into edit mode and then we're going to start from Somewhere around here, yes, yeah, from here to start to move this to the end because to align this the way we want is going to be very tricky. Very, very. Move this back. It's just kind of. And don't worry about uh, anything happening to the mesh. I've done this like twice. It won't show anything it won't affect the mesh because of the shrink wrap modifier and don't get me wrong the shrink wrap modifier doesn't save you all the time but and in this case it does it saves us from any dis mesh distortion This one. So let's continue moving. So move this very well. Okay. So it needs to come back. Okay. Now this is what we're gonna use. I don't know why the blueprint is showing the blinker on this side, but I'm pretty sure it's here because it's right on the what is what's it called like a tiny a bump here on the line. I didn't put it here, though I kind of forgot. Sorry about that. So from here on, there's nothing hard to do anymore. So just move this over here. And okay, since this is here already, we'll just take this one to be the bottom. Okay, let's see. This one is the bottom. Let's bring it over here. Okay, okay, this one can and will be our. Yeah, so basically that is a blink the blinker. That is it. Done and set in stone. So what we're gonna do next is to go into edit mo uh, object mode and duplicate this shrink wrap modifier. Uh, duplicate and then apply the one on top. Then now we can continue. So let's go. Take from here to here. Okay, let's move this one downwards a bit so it can have an open side. Okay, take everything here and then extrude to the back on the x axis. Let's see. Okay, this thickness is fine. So now go to the vertex tab and add a new vertex group. Let's name this blink. Okay, then go into the modifier and then click blink now. Invert it. So that is it. So now 
Well, okay, let's turn on these uh, stuff. Are we supposed to invert? Okay, just leave it like that. Don't invert it. Most of the times, I usually invert it, but it seems it's not needed right now. Delete this part of the face and select everything on this corner. To he okay, not yet. Let's add in uh, a new edge loop. Ctrl R, E, then right click to cancel and then select everything in the center here and GG, slide it to the end. Almost the end, not really the end. Let's see. Okay, move this one some more. Okay, that is what, all we need. So now we need to take the back from here to here. Or, you know what, just take everything because we need everything. Take that, Shift D, duplicate it and move it forward. Hmm, this is working well. Move forward and then let's start to fill in faces. So take this, whoop, these guys here, fill them in and just add in a loop, edge loop on this side. And so let's take these four one, two, three, four, F. Nope, just take the two at the end. The last, the last two at the end. Then press F all the way through. So now that we're done with that, so control R and tighten this stuff. Control R and control B. Bevel that nicely. That is cool. That is cool. So no, right now I'm not sure if we should put. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's just do it. Select everything on this first face. The first face. Okay. Then Shift D, duplicate that, and then scale it down. Not really a big deal. Then extrude it. X on the x-axis, like so. Then. Just do what we did before, Control B, again, and L, then move everything back in. Let's see how centered it is. Yes, move everything back in. Now, we just have to select everything and move it back to the mesh, like so. Make sure it's exactly, use the vertex lines, the vertex dots to align it well. Then this one on the outside. We can just nope, not there. Control R. Okay, we have hit a. We've done a mis made a mistake. Let's move this out first. Control R, then Control B. Then let's take this back in. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, Shift N. So we calculate that. See, okay, that looks that that looks nice. So now let's move to the back. Wow, I wasted a lot of time with this. So let's just do this. Now with the back, we don't need to isolate anything because it's very visible. It's visible. So let's move this. So before we do that, I think we have to remove this center one X and dissolve edges let's remove that I think for now but I'm not really sure I think we'll have to remove that permanently but let's just go on so move this up and <coughs> control R here and just move this back GG slide this down Okay, looks like somebody needs to go up or down. Okay, let's continue. This is going to be a big disaster when I'm trying to edit it. Somebody just called me. Why did the person have to call by this time when I'm recording? Anyways, let me just continue with what I am doing. GG, move this one up, and then move this guy over here. GG, move this guy over here. Just roughly try to get the right shape. Let's move this one down a bit. And you, a little bit up. Yeah, I think that's, that's, that's good enough. That is good enough. So, nothing fancy here. We're just going to repeat what we did on the other side. So, uh, take that to here, then sh 
extrude on the X axis. Anytime it bends like that, just press the axis again, then it will correspond, it will do what you need it to do. So we just add this to the BS scoop that was already there because it doesn't do anything. So that is good. So now we delete this face like we did. X delete face. And let's do this first so we won't forget. Control V and bevel that. So all we have to do now is select everything, select everything, and then, okay, before we do that, let's control R and add in the loop cut, right click to cancel and then select that, and let's move it in. So select everything here, and then shift D, move it out, and press assign, click assign, so it can fill that in. So now, we just fill this guy in, this bad boy. Select this two at the back so it will be easier. So F your way through to the other side. That is cool. So I think that is all. Just to make this part sharp, we can just add an extra edge loop on this side. Okay. So, like we did before, let's select the front face. Or, oh, what am I doing? Just Shift D duplicate everything shrink on the X and shrink no 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 don't shrink on the X just shrink in general and shrink on the X just a little bit and move it back in see this is why I didn't want to shrink on the X rotate see just a bit just move that in so now we just move this to the end Shift N, we calculate that and move it back. Okay, that's cool. So, okay, that looks okay. Now, the last one. Now, let's select this and move it in. Let's see. GG, slide that. GG, slide that. Okay, I think here we'll have to add in a new edge loop. So, Control R. Add that in just casually. Nothing fancy. And another one here too. GG. Slide this in. I think somebody has to go up. Okay, let's take from this top side and just bring this down so it looks good yeah that's is, that is basically it so select so everything extrude on the x axis not too much okay so now let's go to okay it also oh it's the same thing so we just press assign now delete this face x delete faces cool cool now control r here, control B, then bevel. Nice. Then control R here too. Then shift Z, select this one. GG, slide it to the end. Okay. That, is, that looks okay. So now, select everything here. Everything? Okay. Now shift D, duplicate that, assign it. And select from here, which is the back, and then F. Okay, let's just continue from where we stopped. I said that because I have left this place for about an hour before I came back. Okay, I'm just continue where we were filling this up. Yep, that's just about it. And this one. Can add another one here to make it sharp and then I think I'll just do this the other way by selecting the front face like so shift T move it on the X scale it down nope scale it down like so extrude on the X sorry extrude on the X axis 
like it to be flat. Then control mm -hmm. Control B. No. Control B. Build that L. Move it in. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Select everything and then move it that back where it was. Shift N, recalculate that, and that is done. Yeah, okay, that's one more thing before we go. This place, I for, I didn't do this when, we, when it was being done, so let's just click this. Everything here, and just rotate it on the Z axis. Yeah, that looks okay. So, what exactly we want to do here now is to control R and loop cut E. Okay, let's just leave it like that. Deselect these ones here and then GG, slide these ones up. Select everything, slide it up again. Now, we want to bevel this, control B. Like so. So, what we want to do now is take everything on the other side. Of the face and then extrude where it takes us. So, control R, R, rotate Z. So, let's view this from the inside. From the inside of this, I suppose. Yeah, this inside. So, it doesn't really need to match up perfectly but just needs to enter it so control R here and just bring this to the back and control R then E F take this in closely to the end yeah that is okay that is in so let's just leave it leave it like that that is nice I just said that five times in a sentence that's crazy so um we're done for this tutorial and thank you guys for watching so please subscribe, like the video, and if you are chanced, if you are not doing anything, if you're busy, not busy, just help me, you know, click that little share button and just do the thing. So, catch you guys in the next one.